All right, so in the previous video, we worked the first problem of that worksheet in terms of how to solve for linear reactant and how to use the linear reagent to figure out what the theoretical yield for the, the products might would be. So in this example, we're going to go a little bit further, and what we're going to do is we're going to work an example uh, that goes through the same process, but then we also are going to figure out what the percent yield for, for the compound would be. So this question, you can read it there, it's a uh, production of methanol from carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. And so in this example, we are given quite a large amount of both of these. So again, I always set it up in the have in the knee columns. And so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and figure out what the grams are because what needs to be done first is the kilograms converted into grams so so for co uh, we're going to have 68,500 grams so you got to make sure that you do this correct just because if you don't you're 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 going to be off by a factor of a thousand in your final answer so make sure that you you do correct it to grams and not keep it in kilograms so now the molar mass of this compound is 28.01, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna divide it by 28.01 grams per mole. All right, so 68,500 divided by 28.01, that gives me 2,445.6 moles. And I'm not gonna carry any more decimal places because it's not necessary. The, the, the answer is three sick pigs and just carrying more decimal places is repetitive at this point. So, so we're going to keep it very simple here. Now, for hydrogen, you have 8,600 grams, and we're going to divide it by 2.016 grams per mole. All right, so 8,600 divided by 2.016 gives me 4,000. Six hundred. Uh, let's see, four thousand two hundred and sixty-five point nine moles. Now we're going to take those two numbers and we're going to rewrite them over here as we saw in the previous example. Now keep the CO with it and keep the hydrogen with it because you want to make sure you are knowing what you're working with. So. Now again, we're going to use the ratio. I've already worked out the balanced equation above here. So we're going to compare hydrogen to CO. So you have two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of CO. All right, so the moles of CO are going to go away. All right, and so 24.6 times two gives me 48.91. Point two moles of hydrogen. Now we're going to flip the ratio here. We're going to have one mole of CO for every two moles of hydrogen. All right, so the moles of hydrogen go away. All right, so take the 4265.9. I'm going to divide that by two. And we end up with 2132.95. And I'm actually going to keep those two decimal places not that it's going to make a difference or anything but it just that keeps me from having to make a, a, a weird rounding so so now we're going to compare the co which is here we're going to compare this so we have 2445.6 we need 2132 so we have plenty of co now looking at the hydrogen we have 4265.9 we need 4891.2. So right off the bat, our linear agent is this because we don't have enough of it. We need close to 5,000 and we only have close to 4,000. So we're off by about 600 moles. So therefore, that's your linear agent. Now, the again, you're going to take the linear agent and we're going to calculate the theoretical yield for methanol. So, so you take the, the moles of the hydrogen. We're going to convert this into moles of CH3OH. And then you're going to take that and convert that into grams. 
of CH3OH. Now we're going to use the mole ratio here and then we're going to multiply by the molar mass of methanol. So, so we're going to set it up here. So 4265.9 moles of hydrogen gas. We're going to look at the ratio here. It's a one to two ratio. So you have one mole of methanol for every two moles of hydrogen. All right. And then we use the molar mass of methanol. So that's 12.01 grams plus 1.008 times four because there's four hydrogens plus 16 because there's one oxygen. And what that gives me is 32.04 grams per mole. Now the moles cancel out here. The These moles cancel out here. So we're going to take the 4265.9. We're going to divide that by 2. And then we're going to multiply that by the 32.04. And we end up with 68,339.7 grams of the CH3OH. Now, this, this number here is also called the theoretical yield. Now, if I were to pay attention to significant figures, this would be a three sig figs for the final answer. So, so this would be where you can just simply convert it to scientific notation, which would be 6.83 times 10 to the one, two, three, four. grams of CH3OH. Again, is that necessary? You could simply do 68,300 or you can do scientific notation, which either one works. Now, the, the next part is figuring out percent yield. So the first thing is knowing the equation of percent yield. It's going to be actual divided by theoretical times 100. Now, the theoretical we just calculated as 6.83 times 10 to the fourth grams. And the unit's not that important here. All right. So what we need to know is what is the actual yield from this reaction? So that goes back up to the information here. And the actual yield is 3.57 times 10 to the fourth. So all we need to do is plug this in the calculator. So I got three, and you want to, and when you do this, make sure that you put the parentheses on the top and the bottom, so that way your order of operations are correct. So if you know how to do the e function on your calculator, then you shouldn't have to do the parentheses. So I'm just typing in 3.57e to the fourth divided by 6.83e to the fourth. All right, and I'm gonna that gives you 0.55 or 0.522693. And I'm gonna take that number. I'm gonna multiply by 100. Now I know it needs to be three sig figs, so I'm gonna go ahead and round that to 52.3 percent. And that would be the the final answer to this question here. So, so that is the percent yield. Now, is that a good percent yield? No, it's not a good percent because you're losing forty eight percent to the uh, of loss. So you, you you're losing forty eight percent of your profit here. So when you talk about in, in terms of money, it fifty two percent is not. You'd rather be closer to hundred percent. It's not ever going to be a hundred percent, but it, you can get close to it if you are careful and uh, but you know the the purpose of this these this video and the, and the previous one is to give you a couple examples to show you how you can use the lim reagent to then further calculate the theoretical yield and you use that to then calculate what the percent yield should be for for those reactions or reaction in this case so all right thanks for watching guys